Good day, guys. Welcome back to the SBAT Sofa. We're going to do a quick Premier League preview. I've got 10 games to talk about this week. I'm joined by Liam. And I've got Phil with me again. Phil's got the iPad. He's got some stats in there. And he's going to remind us what games we're actually talking about. I apologise straight away if there's any swearing in it. It's going to be off the cuff, so anything can get said, really. Yeah, Phil, what's the first game we're going to be talking about? First game up, guys, is the early kickoff. We've got Arsenal versus Hull at the Emirates. How are you feeling about this one then, Liam? Um, yeah, it's plain and simple Arsenal win for me. Yes, all have been great, um, but just Arsenal have surely got to come back after being beaten 2 1 by Watford. Yeah, we can't, do. Can't see them losing 2 2 at home on the bounce. You think so? You'd, you'd want a reaction from the Chelsea game as well. They didn't play well this weekend, so you'd be hoping for a reaction. Yeah, I mean, as much as Hull have been improving lately, it's all been at home, away from home. We looked at it earlier, I think they've scored. Is it one away from home? One, one, away, one in five away from home. And they've got pretty big injury list at the moment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So for me, I think we're liking the looks of Arsenal. I think Hull are quite a resilient team, though. Yeah, I, I, I go unders, unders yeah. and Arsenal. So, yeah, is that an Arsenal and under two and a half goals then? Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, that. Right, so that's our bets there. Goal scorer, quickly. Ozil. Ooh, I like your rude. I'm going to go Walcott. All right, three different opinions there. So you agree with? Let us know in the comments who you think is going to score and what you think the score is going to be. Right then, guys, the next one is at Old Trafford and we've got Manchester United against Watford. What were you all thinking? Uh, I like both teams to score here. I think United drawn the last two at home. And Watford have been decent away from home lately. So I'd like goals, both teams to score, but I wouldn't back United to win at such a short price. Agreed. United are short, but the performance they put in at the weekend against Leicester, especially second half, I thought they looked really good. I think Leicester are an absolute pony. I watched them at Southampton the other week, and they've, they're just completely disjointed. They, they're not a team at the moment, really aren't. It's, it's really poor showing for Leicester at the moment, so I wouldn't really factor that into my thoughts for the game this weekend. I think... Watford has shown a bit more character in the last two games, winning the last two. The Arsenal performance was a great, was a great result for them. Uh, Troy Deeney's come into form again. He's he's scoring again. I just think United might be too strong at Old Trafford. They've not lost uh, in the league since October. I think they're going to be too strong, but I fancy Watford to nick a goal. So I'm going both teams to score and United to win in that game. Nice. I quite, I like the fact that Man United have kept 80% clean sheets in their last five at Old Trafford. So you're going the other I'm way. I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go United to win to nil. Right, so there's three totally different opinions there. Uh, right, next game, Phil. Next game then, guys. We're going straight into... We've got Middlesbrough against Everton at the Riverside. Unders. Yeah, Middlesbrough at home. They don't concede many, do they? No, I must admit, I really like the way Karanka sets Middlesbrough up. They're hard to beat. I fucking hate boring. watching them. I hate watching They're them. They're so boring <laughs> it to is, watch. but yeah. boring and no, get results. No doubt that'll be like... Oh, no, it's three o'clock kickoff. Normally, like they're like the early kickoff on TV, yeah. and it's just yeah. dire. I'm hoping Lukaku destroys them, to be honest with you. Not for your fantasy team, which he had triple captain last week. No, he didn't. He had just captain, didn't he? Um, but anyway, yeah, I just think, for me, I want Everton to win and I don't want Middlesbrough in the Premier League anymore because it's so boring to watch. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> I just think, I think if Everton score early, it could be an absolute goal fest like it was against Bournemouth this yeah. week because Middlesbrough will have to come out. Yeah. But I think if... The hour mark and it's still nil nil. I think I think even if Middlesbrough concede in the first five minutes, it'll still be boring. Yeah. I just I just think I just it's just boring. That's it. So if we we're pushing the result, then what we're we saying? One nil Everton. Yeah. Yeah. Under two point five. That's not that's not a result. That's a bet. What's your result? Result nil nil. I'm gonna agree with you, Phil. Nil nil. Yeah. Next game. Next one, we've got Stoke against Crystal Palace at the Bet365 Stadium. <laughs> you liked Palace until about 48 hours ago. They, 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 just, they, like, you think that they might have turned a corner and then they go and lose 4-0 at home to Sunderland. Yeah. Benteke looks great and then has an absolute shocker of a game. He's a donkey. And Stoke, to be fair, at home, I'm going Stoke win. Yeah? Yeah. It's weird. Stoke, I looked at it, I fancy Stoke. I looked at Stoke's home form and I, don't think, they, I think they've won 1-5 in five at home. I do think they will win, in fairness, but they're not as convinced as I want right now. No, I agreed. I say I thought again, like Bent said, Palace played really well away at Bournemouth, and you think Big Sam's worked his magic. This weekend, the wheels fall off. I'd like to think that he might get a reaction from his Palace team this week. Yeah, uh, I think Palace might nick a point. I think Big Sam's his head's. I think his head's gone already. I think he's lost the will to be at that club. He doesn't look the same body language wise as he was. In some of his previous positions, I already think he's consigned himself to leaving in the summer. I think they'll just do enough to stay in the Premier League. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm with Bent on that. I think he'll keep him up. Yeah, so what we're saying, and I'm going Stoke win. Stoke win and Crouch to score. Oh, nice. I like that. I'm going to go one all draw. One all draw. Right, that's okay. Two two agree with Stoke win and one for the draw. Next one. Next one, we're off to the Stadium of Light and we've got Sunderland against Saints. See, I'd have had this down as a really boring game again, but after Sunderland smashing four past Palace... I think I don't know. Yeah. Southampton are pretty dire at the moment. There's good um, value in Sunderland. Is it eleven well, to four? Phil, Phil likes Phil likes Sunderland. Eleven to four. Sunderland double chance five to six. I think's a great price. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd actually go with double chance Sunderland. I think. Yeah. The foe yeah. to score anyone? Yeah, at home always. Yeah, yeah. always. I tell you, I think Saints have got to be a little bit careful here because I think they could get dragged into this relegation dogfight if they're not careful. Absolutely. Van Dyke going is a massive blow for them. He's so for me, he's the heart of that team. He actually leads from the back, and I'm saying the fact he's out for three months is huge. And they didn't sign another centre back in the window yeah. to cover it. The cups are only around the corner as well, so mm-hmm. that's like that's got to be at the back of their minds. Like the players aren't going to be going in for challenges 100, percent knowing no. that they've got a final on the horizon and they don't want to get injured for it. Well, absolutely, then. No, I agree. So what we're saying then, results-wise, I'm going to go Sunderland to nick it two-one. I'm going to go for a draw. I'm actually going to go with Phil. I think there's a great price. Sunderland, Southampton on the road have not impressed me at all. And I think Sunderland might take, yeah, 2 1 as well. I'm with you, Phil. Yeah, nice. I like that. Right. Now we're going to London and we're going to the Olympic Stadium and it's West Ham against West Brom. I like West Brom at the moment. Yeah. I like West Ham. So That's a horrible game to call, I think, at the moment. I like goals. Every week I like goals with West Ham. Yeah. And West Brom haven't been their usual boring defensive self, so goals in their games, yeah. Yeah, I, both teams are scoring over two and a half. I, do, I wouldn't like to call the result either way. No. Um, if I had to put my neck on that, I'm going to go for like a really bold two-two draw. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah. So I, I'd back all, uh, I'd back goals over three and a half as a bit of a a bit of an out out there bet. I think there's going to be two people that pop up straight away when I ask this question: goal scorers. I think it's hard to look past Andy Carroll, the form he's in. Thought you'd say that. What about you? I, I like Brunt. Yeah, you like Brunt? Oh, well, I was expecting Rondon. Nah, Brunt. I, I like Brunt. I'll take that. He's yeah. in my fantasy team. So, yeah, I'll have a Brunt as well. Um, have punt a Brunt on Brunt. On Brunt. Yeah, <laughs> punt on Brunt. I suppose also the outsider that we haven't talked about is Antonio scored a lot of goals this year. Yeah, that's Especially yeah. at home as well. Yeah. So, he'd be an, yeah, out, an outside good. shout. He's good in the air, isn't he? Yeah. Um, that's the one thing. West, West Brom are good in the air, but... Carol and Antonio coming that's, at you every corner like that's mm-hmm. yeah it's a lot to deal with I'd go with that so I'm going to go with Ben so I'm going to go on a draw yeah I'm going to join you and I'm going to go score draw as well wow three draws three score draws as well so back against that one guys when we, when we all agree it's not a good thing <laughs> yeah it's never usually like, the right like outcome one to West Ham, <laughs> yeah Right, the final Premier League game on Saturday is up at Anfield and it's Liverpool against Tottenham you kick us off on this go on, one Phil, Phil. it's your go team on. he's it's a Spurs team. fan I know, I'm a Spurs the fan. Highest bit out of the way first. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think we're actually in really good form at the moment. I have to say, mm-hmm. but we were chatting earlier in the office, and Liverpool's poor run of form has to come to an end sooner or later, which worries me a little bit. Yeah. They seem they seem to show up for the bigger games. Like they've got a draw at Chelsea. Well, at Anfield against Chelsea. Yeah. yeah they've um, got a history of doing that, haven't they? Now. Yeah, I, I don't know. History. I really don't know because I I think Spurs is starting eleven. Is probably actually the, not not their squad, but their starting eleven is actually probably the best starting eleven in the country right now. Yeah, I um, like that. I really like that. I, I think, I think if well on their day and when all fit, they'd beat anyone in that league. Do you? Um, f- yeah. Do you think the home form's going to come into it? Uh, home, sorry, the home advantage is going to come into it for Liverpool. Possibly, but I then think- they haven't taken advantage of that in their recent games either. Haven't, so haven't they lost like the last three at home? Awesome. Something like that, or, and or, not, or they've not won, won in three, three, or something like that. Yeah. Um, I just look at it. Liverpool first half of the season were absolutely brilliant. Yeah. But it's a case of I don't know if Klopp's underestimated the Premier League a little bit. Whether his team can't play at that full velocity that he wants them to for the yeah, whole the season. Because yeah. the first half of the season, the amount of miles they were putting into games was unbelievable. And to be fair, Mane's. I mean, they rely on Mane, but mm-hmm. he's just flown all the way to Africa and back and getting yeah. thrown straight into the team. Coutinho was out as well. Is, are they the same players? Like, give You've got to give them a couple of weeks. Like, yeah. There's been a lot of games recently. Um, have they got the quality and depth? I don't think so. No, no, at the back, they're, they're very poor. Like this weekend, they had to play Lucas at centre-half. 
because yeah. of injuries. Yeah. So yeah, unlucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for me, yeah, for me, Liverpool are going to struggle against Spurs. I think Spurs is a complete package. And for me, I, do you know, what? I'm going to, I'm going to throw out that I'm going to go for a Spurs win. I, I'm not going to disagree with you. I think both teams to score and to, and a Tottenham win because with uh, for Tottenham being injured, we've gone back to a back four. I'm not keen of Eric Dyer playing as part of a back four. Mm-hmm. Like him as a three yeah. when he plays with Vertonghen and Alderweireld, but not convinced he's a proper centre half of the two. So I'm going to go Spurs to win three one. Oh. Wow. Wild. I'm gonna go draw. Yeah. Yeah. One Pro- one. Yeah, it's probably the safe one, isn't it? I just. <laughs> I, it's been a bit of an ongoing theme for me today, draws. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong yeah. with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Right, we're gonna go head over to Sunday. Sunday. Ooh, we've got Sunday's games. Loading her up. And we kick off Turf Moor, Burnley against Chelsea. Now, right, the first bet I looked at with this, obviously, I think it's well well documented that Burnley's home form is ridiculous in the league, mm. uh, and it's fair in all competitions. Right, Chelsea to concede is five to six. Right, it, would you call it? Would you would you be brave enough to put your balls on the line on that one? Nah, nah, nah. How many clean sheets has caught? This is the thing, before? right? It's, it's it's such a weird one because Burnley. You look at it and go, Burnley ain't going to get anything against Chelsea, but that home form is immense. Yeah, it's one of those ones at home when they played City on on in the season when City were in form. Yeah. Everyone wrote them off. Oh, City will just go to Turf Moor and roll them over. Yeah. And barring a bit of a dodgy refereeing decision, Burnley would have got something from that game. Yeah. They lost 2 1, but they had a but stone wall penalty. Chelsea aren't City. Chelsea aren't City. The Chelsea are nothing like City. The, the way they play football is completely different. They're, they're a counter attacking team. Mm. City try and dominate games with possession and push constant pressure. And Chelsea will just hit people on the counter attack. They'll even hit Burnley on the counter attack. They will. They will go to Turf Moor and just wait for their opportunities and pick them off. They'll, yeah. they'll win 2-0 for me. I think it's an unders game. I think Burnley will hold off Chelsea for a, a period of time. It's whether they can nick something in that period that will make it interesting. But I think, yeah, I'm with you. I think it's going to be an unders game because Burnley will just be happy to take a draw in that, I believe. Yeah, no, I wouldn't disagree. I, if I was going to put it out there, I'd probably say 1-0 Chelsea myself. Yeah. So I think we're probably all going to side with the Chelsea uh, a Chelsea win there to be fair yeah. is it too early to start calling them champions elect no yeah. not at no. all I think they'd I won think, it I weeks Paddy ago Paddy Power will probably pay out soon <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. do a little one of their gimmicks I'd yeah. say they, they just look so complete at the moment yeah nah, Chelsea win then everyone yeah right the last game on Sunday is a huge game at the bottom of the table Swansea against Leicester Swansea win Swansea and overs yeah, as I say, that's like three-one, three-two, something like that, something big, four-one, yeah, four-two. Le- Leicester have gone. Yeah, for me, I, their heads have just totally. I think the worst thing that's happening at Leicester at the moment, as well, is the players are calling each other out. Mm. Like Casper Schmeichel's had a bit of a dig at all the players, and yeah. there's there's absolutely no togetherness, which is such a strange thing after winning winning the league last season. I think a couple of the players want Ranieri out, but then there's another fifty percent of the squad. Uh, completely behind him, so mm. I think there's a divide. That's a question. Uh, probably, that. I think there's a divide between like the old, old, the old team and yeah. the new signings, and I, I just think there's a question there for everyone, right? Ranieri is he sackable? Get in the comments. Do you think you should? Can you sack Ranieri after he's won a league title? I'd just move him upstairs. Yeah, I'd, I'd give him like a, a, a role at the club for life, and just say. Thank you very much, but no it's, thanks. It's, it's, it's time to bring somebody fresh in. Yeah, um, because yeah. that, that w- thing is with Ranieri, he's a confidence guy, and he's yeah. got no. The team has no confidence at the moment, and I think he's struggling to yeah. to pick them up at the moment. He can't. He's, yeah, he doesn't look like he's winning them back anytime soon. No, so. I love I love Ranieri, but it's it's he's a good character. It's turned into a relegation dogfight now, and I don't think he's up to it. I think it's last season they had a, they had an identity to their team. For me, the way they played, the mm. personnel where this year, for me, they've got no identity Everybody's whatsoever. Everybody's dropped deep against them. They, and Vardy's gone from being a dogged, like, striker like to he's trying to bring people into the game rather than just running behind. Like, he, mm. he's turned into, he's, he's trying to be a striker that he's not. He's trying to bring players into play rather than just going. You just want them on that last nuts man deep harassing. and just yeah. running, at, running at defences. But then again, teams are now set up. Deeper, you know, the only team that set up high up the pitch against mm. Leicester was Man City, and they, they got, got done for it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Do you think then, 
this is why in Europe they're having such success. Do you think teams are still being a bit naive? I think they are. I think they're really naive. It'd be interesting to see how they get on against Sevilla. Yeah. Um, they're a good team. They'll give them a really good game. They've got an amazing record at home. Yeah. And, and in Europe. Well, yeah. obviously the Europa, in Europa League, but, but yeah. Yeah. Be a good game. Yeah. So the last one then, Monday night. Who have we got? We've got Bournemouth against Manchester Absolutely City. Absolutely massive game. Yeah. Massive. City. If City. Bit of sarcasm there, but yeah, yeah. City, anything less than a win, they can absolutely write off that top place. I, I think it's done anyway. Top four, though, it's big for them. I Huge. think I think City are good. Yeah, like this. Uh, how you want to pronounce it? Jesus is. Oh, Gabriel. He's, 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 what, he's what they needed. He, mm. He's that fresh bit of blood up front. He looks class. Um, you know. Man City of two months ago would have lost at the weekend. Yeah, yeah. they'd have gone one-one. No, not lost. They'd, they'd have gone one-one, and they wouldn't. I don't think they'd have come back and won the game. But mm. um, it's just added that little bit of spark. Yeah, for them. it's just such energy up front. I mean, Aguero. To be fair, you do get a bit of something with Aguero, but he's. I think he's let his team down this year with his disciplinary. I think the way he's gone about his business in games, getting like the sending offs he's getting, like, I think has he missed six or seven games this year already. Yeah, seven games, seven through suspension. games through suspension. I think. Yeah, that's a big mess. As yeah, well, this it? should be a kick up the ass for him now because hey, Zeus coming in. Hey, Zeus ain't just come in. Hey, Zeus is cool. I'm, I'm coming. I want to take your place. Guardiola has actually said that he's going to play him together. Really? Uh, yeah, he said he said it at the weekend. He said, um, I think someone asked him, can they play together? And he said, yes, I've bought them to play together. Well, so, so what, that's going to be lethal, then, isn't it? If it works. Do you think they'll still play a front three? And what will they play Aguero? Who do you drop middle to and, accommodate and it? Jesus off. Because De Bruyne, you've got to fancy De Bruyne stays. Yeah, and he likes Sterling as well. He's, he's Sterling's been like an ever present in the so team is near it, enough. Is it Sane year. that drops out? Play yeah. a front five. A couple of times at Dortmund, at Dortmund at Munich especially, he went to a diamond, didn't he? So he could play two up front, yeah. one in the hole, and then he still had a midfield balance yeah. as yeah. well. So I wouldn't rule that out either. So many options at City. He could, they could do whatever he wants, really, can't yeah, they? They've still got a Champions League to think about as well. So yeah. rotating the squad. Bournemouth. What do we think about Bournemouth? They're in a bit of a I think, shit run, aren't they? I yeah. think they're in huge trouble, <laughs> yeah. I have to say. Their run of form is awful. I think they've just about done enough early on in the season to... Avoid really getting dragged into the. Uh, That's my mum. Dinner's ready. Sorry, mate. Yeah, um, <laughs> I think they've just about done enough to not get dragged into it. I think it's All only right, going to be. I think yeah. it's only going to be like 36, 37 points that keeps you up this season. Because uh, there really are some terrible t- Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Is that the microwave or is it actually? <laughs> it's, 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 my, it's my phone, sorry. It's all right, don't worry. We'll there keep rolling. Yeah. yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, no. We said they'd be swearing, all right. Yeah. Jesus. Sorry, we're still here. We're still here. Uh, I quite like this. We'll keep it rolling. Yeah, our heads are gone yet. Wilson's injured, isn't he? Wilson, yeah, Wilson's Wilson. injured. Right, he's we're done, back in the room. He's done his ligaments, hasn't he? Done his yeah, ligaments yeah. again. That's yeah. a shame. That's a real shame. Eddie Howe, next Arsenal manager. Where do we go from here? No. Um, <laughs> to Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I like it. Right, what are we saying? City win? Yeah. Right, what have you got you, Phil? Uh, City winning overs for me. Yeah, so yeah. City... 3-1 yeah. three, three, City. All right, 3-1 City, Benz. I'm going to go with... Ooh. You just want to be debatable, don't you? you I'm going to go 2 on City. Hey, Zeus to score. Hey, Zeus. Hey, Zeus. Hey, Zeus is on fire. Jesus, yeah, that's pretty much sums up this take. <laughs> what are you going for, Phil? <laughs> We've already said this, Sam. We're going for a City winning overs. I think, Brilliant. We, I think we need to redo this. <laughs> no, I like it. It stays. That stays, that take. Right, guys, thanks so much for joining us. We lost our heads a little bit at the end, I'm not going to lie. Ben's just putting his bet on. He was getting a tip from someone. That's what all the pings were. <laughs> So yeah, thanks very much for joining us. Join us again next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Everybody say goodbye. Cheers. Have you just done that?